very first thing that happens is when we come over and talk to you about selling your house, this is what you're going to say. First thing that happens is when we come over and talk to you about selling your house, this is what you're going to say. We don't want to put our house up for sale until we find where we want to go. 99% of the time. Yep. What's the problem there? Uh, it's going to be really hard to do that and get an offer accepted without your house being on the market and potentially under contract. Yeah. Because when you find the house you want and we write the offer, mm -hmm. then we're having to send it in with a contingency that your house sells. Right. And depending on their, what you're selling and what their situation is, that can be risky. Yep. Because like, let's say it's taken them three months to get their house under contract. So when they get your offer, they're automatically going to think it could take months. Yep. So. They don't like that contingency. Yeah. So if we're talking to you, we're always going to see if we can figure out a way to not have a contingency. Right. So you tell me one way. The first one, in, in some cases, some people will qualify to actually be able to purchase a home and then sell their home. Yep. And is there any risk in that? There's a lot less risk. <laughs> yeah. But I, I guess the biggest part of the risk is, t depending on how timing lines up and when we do finally list your house, how long it takes for it to sell. 